greetings of the day to all of you today i am going to deliver lecture number 26 on power quality problems and solutions in our last lecture i uh, discussed with you uh, a method which is called passive solution where we use passive elements like inductance and capacitance for balancing a highly unbalanced delta connected load and at the end of the lecture using mathematical analysis we proved that uh, by using the passive elements we are able we were able to balance all the three line currents in presence of an unbalanced delta connected load now in this lecture i am going to discuss a generalized approach for load compensation because you know in that lecture if you remember we had arbitrarily chosen chosen some value of uh, these compensators like here I had an inductance had connected an inductance here I had connected a capacitance and Arbitrarily I had chosen the value of this inductance or its susceptance as J B L uh, J B L yeah B L A B by root 3 and the value of this admittance or susceptance minus J BLAB by root 3 and this was BLAB so, uh, sorry this was GLAB this is also GLAB not BLAB GLAB GLAB <coughs> the admittance of this branch this load is GLAB and the uh, passives that we connected uh, we have chosen the values as GLAB by root 3 well, GLAB, where GLAB is the uh, conductance or admittance of this branch of the load <clears throat> and we proved that the, by providing the, this passive compensation I is exactly equal to IB exactly equal to IC the three line currents get balanced now the question was how do we how, how did we choose these values GLAB by root 3 so for that purpose you need a generalized approach that's what I'm going to discuss with you today I am discussing generalized I will write here generalized approach for load compensation load compensation <clears throat> within brackets I will write load compensation means load balancing and power factor correction In the previous lecture, we uh, discussed only load balancing aspect, but here uh, I will develop using mathematical analysis a generalized approach for load compensation. And when, when I say load compensation, it does not mean load balancing only, it means reactive power compensation also, that means power factor correction also, that is load balancing and power factor correction using passives or using passive solution. Passive solution means uh, we will not use active elements uh, or like uh, D statcom. We will, not use, we will not use any voltage source inverter because what is D statcom? It's nothing but a voltage source inverter. We will not use D statcom. D statcom forms active solution. We will use passive solution. Passive solution means inductances and capacitances, passive elements for load balancing and for, for power factor correction. <clears throat> Let us consider a delta connected unbalanced three phase load this is a delta connected unbalanced three phase load which is supplied by three phase balanced source or three phase balance su balance supply this is a b c and these are the three lines this is line current i a or let me call it i a l l stands for line current line line current here is i b l and line current in this line is ICL. <coughs> Similarly, the line current, uh, let us assume that uh, admittance of this branch is YLAB because this load is connected between A and B. So its admittance is YLAB. Similarly, admittance of this branch is YLBC and admittance of this branch is YLCA. Let us assume the current in this branch is ILAB. Uh, this is the line current IAL and this is the current phase current this is the phase current 
current flowing in this particular phase IL AB. Why AB? Because it is connected, this, uh, this branch is, or this node is connected between A and B. <coughs> Similarly, current here will be, in this phase current will be IL BC and in this phase the current will be IL CA. Okay, so IL, IAL, I, IBL and ICL are three line currents and ILAB, ILBC and ILCA are three phase currents and these are unbalanced. Let us assume load is unbalanced, that is these admittances are not equal, they are different and they cause different amounts of currents ILAB, ILBC and ILCA to flow in the three phases which ultimately results in unbalanced line currents IAL, IBL and ICL. The situation is that IAL is not equal to IBL, not equal to ICL. So there is unbalancing. Now what we will do, we will uh, use symmetrical component theory or symmetrical components. And in terms of symmetrical components, these three line currents we will uh, write in terms of symmetrical components. So I will write here using symmetrical components. using symmetrical components <coughs> what is uh, uh, you go back to one of the lectures in which I discussed with you exclusive, exclusively symmetrical components how to represent various line quantities in terms of their symmetrical components that's positive sequence component negative sequence and zero sequence components so Using that symmetrical component theory, zero sequence component of line current is I naught L, positive sequence component of line current is I one L, and negative sequence component of line current is I two L. So it represents all the three line currents. I L you can represent in terms of these sequence components. Similarly, I B L as well as I C L. So this is equal to one by root three times. This is the matrix, conversion matrix, 1, 1, 1, 1, A, A square, 1, A square, A, multiplied by the three line currents, IAL, IBL, ICL. This is how we represent zero, uh, these sequence components or symmetrical components of currents, that is zero sequence component of currents, positive sequence sequence components of the current and negative sequence components of the current in terms of line currents or how we represent line currents in terms of sequence components or symmetrical components. From this if you find this zero sequence component of current I naught L is given by 1 by root 3 times C this is IAL into 1 plus IBL into 1 plus ICL into 1 that is IAL plus IBL plus ICL. What is the sum of three line currents? Since this is a delta connected load, it's not a star connected load. Had it been a star connected or Y connected load and unbalanced load, then IAL plus IBL plus ICL would have been equal to the neutral current or it would not, it would not have been equal to zero. It would have been equal to neutral current. But for delta connected load, you don't have any neutral. So therefore the sum of phasor sum of three line currents is always zero. So therefore, there is no zero sequence of current flowing in this delta connected load. Remember, delta connected load does not uh, allow any zero sequence component of current to flow in the lines. Okay, only Y connected or star connected load uh, in which you have neutral connection also available. That is three phase four wire system. The zero sequence component of current will flow in the neutral and IAL plus IBL plus ICL is three times zero sequence component of current um, or zero sequence component of current is three times IAO something like that so that means zero sequence component of current flows through the neutral but for delta connected load the sum of three phasor sum of three line currents is zero so therefore there is no zero sequence component of current so therefore <clears throat> we don't have this now we have positive sequence component of current Positive sequence component of current is equal to as per this matrix, it is 1 by root 3 times IAL plus A times IBL plus 
a square ICL. Okay, <coughs> where IL, IPL, ICL they are the line currents. And what is A? A is an operator. Uh, we already know this operator A is equal to 1 at an angle of 120 degrees, plus 120 degrees. A square is an operator 1 at an angle of minus 120 degrees. And if you find A cube, A cube is 1 at an angle of 0 degrees, that is 1. Although we don't have A cube term here, but very soon you will encounter A cube term. A cube is 1. A is 1 at an angle of 120 degrees and A squared is 1 at an angle of minus 120 degrees. We have already discussed this uh, while uh, discussing a lecture on symmetrical components in one of the earlier lectures. So therefore, if you want to find positive sequence component of currents, the positive sequence component of current will comprise of, <coughs> you know, this positive sequence component of current is a three phase system comprising of three currents which are uh, in which are having a phase shift of plus minus 120 degrees and have same phase sequence as the original set of currents okay and then you have negative sequence component of current i2l that is equal to as per this matrix 1 by root 3 times ial plus a square ibl plus a icl Negative sequence co component of currents is a set of three phase currents <coughs> having <coughs> phase shift of plus minus 120 degrees, but phase sequence opposite to that of original phase, original phase sequence. Okay. <coughs> and this zero sequence component, let, uh, zero sequence currents, let me tell you, flow only if your load is unbalanced. Remember, if your load is completely balanced, then there will be no zero sequence component of current and there will be no negative sequence of component of current. Your positive sequence of component of current will only be flowing and positive sequence component of current will be same as actual currents. But as soon as your load becomes unbalanced, you have a three phase unbalanced load, maybe Y connected load or in this case delta connected load. Then since this is a delta connected load, you don't have any zero sequence component of current. But you have positive sequence component of currents and you have negative sequence component of currents also. The negative sequence component of currents shows that your load is unbalanced. Now we have to find this positive sequence component of currents, current and we have to find this negative sequence component of current using these formulae. Okay, so <clears throat> for both currents you need the information about the line currents. You should know what is line current IAL, what is IBL and what is ICL. Let us try to find now these currents, <clears throat> IL, IBL and ICL. Now as far as this IAL current, line current IAL is, is concerned, we can see from here, in terms of phase currents, it is ILAB minus ILCA. It is I L A B minus I L <coughs> C A. I L A B minus I L C A. And if you I L A B and I L C A, these are the phase currents, not line currents. And these phase currents in terms of admittance are Y L A B into 1 minus a square minus y l c a into a minus 1 into v. See your uh, current is voltage by impedance and 1 by impedance is admittance. So it is voltage by admittance. So what is your line phase current a b? It is voltage multiplied by its admittance. Uh, so voltage is v multiplied by admittance but you have to multiply it by 1 minus a square. Similarly, this ILCA is YLCA A minus 1 into V. Where from this 1 minus A square and A minus 1 has come, I have already discussed with you in one of the lectures how these phase currents can be represented in terms of these operators A and A square. It's already there in one of the lectures. You can find it out. Okay. So this, this is IAL in terms of phase currents. In terms of, sorry, IAL in terms of yeah in terms of phase currents and then phase currents are in terms of admittances ylab and ylca 
and in terms of applied voltage and in terms of operators A and A square. Similarly, you can find IBL, line current IBL. What is line current IBL? This is line current IBL. It is ILBC minus ILAB. ILBC minus ILAB. Okay. So that is equal to, so IBL will be equal to ILBC is YLBC, YLBC times A square minus A minus this YLAB into 1 minus A square into B. <coughs> so this is IBL. So IL, IBL we have computed. Now we have to find ICL, line current ICL in terms of phase currents. And what is this ICL equal to? It is ILCA minus ILBC. This is ILCA minus ILBC. And ICL, now this ILCA is this current and ILBC is this current. In terms of admittances, these will be, admit, ILCA flows through this admittance, YLCA. So it is YLCA time into A minus 1 minus ILBC flows through this admittance. Uh, what is the admittance? YLBC into 1 minus A square. Whole divided, whole multiplied by V. Okay, so this will give line current ICL. So therefore the three line currents, IAL, IBL, ICL, I tried to represent them in terms of phase currents and then phase currents themselves were represented in terms of admittances. So therefore the three line currents, IAL, IBL and ICL are given here. This is IAL, this is IBL and this is ICL. They are in terms of phase admittances or load admittances. Okay. So substituting these <coughs> in the equation for positive sequence component of current. Now we already know just few moments back we have found the positive sequence component of load current I1L. What was that equal to? That was equal to 1 by root 3. In terms of sequence components that was equal to 1 by root 3 times <coughs> IA. The, the sequence current in terms of line currents was 1 by root 3 times IAL plus a i b l plus a square i c l कुछ समय पहले हमने ये equation अभी using that matrix हमने लिखी so therefore i a i 1 l the positive sequence component of load current will be 1 by root 3 times i a l अभी हमने निकाला i a l we have just few moments back uh, written the equation in terms of admittances and what is that equal to? That is equal to IAL is YLAB into 1 minus A square minus YLCA into A minus 1 into V. So, here is your IAL. Plus A times IBL. Okay. So, plus A times IBL. IBL also just few moments back we have written the equation for that. And what is that IBL? That is YLBC times A square minus A minus YLAB into 1 minus A square whole multiplied by V. Okay. And then we have third term. A square ICL. So A square into ICL. What is ICL? ICL also we have computed few moments back. That is YLCA into A minus 1 minus YLBC into a square minus a into v. So this is it. Okay. So therefore this I1L positive sequence component of current can be further simplified as now this is by L A B. First term is by L <coughs> first term is Y L A B. I will write it as it is minus a square YLAB minus AYLCA minus minus into minus is plus YLCA plus A into A square is A cube YLBC minus A into A is A square YLBC minus 
So this is YL AB into 1, that is YL AB. <coughs> this I'm sorry this is uh, a B hai na isme. it is a, 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 a yeah this is a into while a B this is minus a into a B hai, a bar hai. you have to multiply it by a a into while a B minus a uh, minus into minus is plus a square into a is a cube y l a B then this plus a square y l c a minus a square into a is of course a cube so it's not a square it's a cube minus a square into one is a square y l c a okay and then a square into a square is a4 minus a raised power 4 y l b c then a square minus into minus is plus a square into a is a cube y l c a this whole multiplied by v whole multiplied by v okay so this can be further written as 1 by root 3 times let me write yl ab i will take it and then i have yl the terms which are without a or a square or a cube plus yl ca okay and yeah yl ca <coughs> Any other term? Yeah. <clears throat> so we have plus a cube y l b c. Yeah. I can take this plus a cube y l b c. Okay. Let me put it within the brackets. After this, I will take a square common from some terms. If I take a square common from here, I will get y l a b. Okay, let me take it. Where is a square here? Plus y l b c. And we have a square here also. Plus y l c a. Okay, it is a square value term. Minus a value term a. Now I, I will take common. If I take a common, I get this y l c a. Okay. Uh, plus y l a b okay uh isme se bhi a, a common nikala to it will be plus a a cube y l b c okay a cube y l b c uske baad <coughs> a cube wali terms mein common nikalunga plus a cube a y is a cube mm, this this is y l a b plus then y l c a and plus y l c a this should be y l uh, sorry this is y l b c this is not c a this is y l b c y l b c whole multi multiplied by v <clears throat> further simplification will give me this is a square y l a b plus y l b c plus y l c a okay so therefore i1 l positive sequence component of load current will be equal to 1 by root 3 into v v b now this is y l a b plus a cube is 1 uh, we already know a cube is equal to 1 y l a b plus y l b c plus y l c a let me put it within brackets y l a b plus y l B C plus <coughs> Y L C A minus A square. <coughs> we have minus A square. Now, <coughs> A square. What is A square? We know A square is it is minus A square means minus one by two minus J root three by two. Because what is A square? A square is one at an angle of minus one twenty degrees, which is equal to one cos of minus 120 degrees plus j sine of minus 120 degrees which is equal to what is cos of minus 120 degrees minus 1 by 2 what is sine of 120 degrees that is plus j root 3 by, uh, by 2 but it's minus so minus j root 3 by 2 that's what i am writing here 
a square is here a square I am replacing by minus 1 by 2 this is minus 1 minus 1 by 2 minus j root 3 by 2 okay into this thing yl ab plus yl bc plus yl ca and then minus a what is a a is 1 at an angle of 120 degrees which is 1 cos 120 degrees plus j sine 120 degrees which is equal to 1 by 2 minus j root 3 by 2 okay that is a a ka value hai into yl ab plus yl bc plus yl ca yl ab plus yl bc plus yl ca okay <coughs> right plus a cube what is a cube a cube is one we already know a cube is one at an angle of zero degree that is one itself times yl ab plus yl bc plus yl ca that's it so further simplification will give this is equal to v by root 3 times see yl ab plus yl bc plus yl ca plus yl ab plus yl bc plus yl ca that is 2 times yl ab plus yl bc plus yl ca that is this and this then you have minus into minus is plus yl ab by 2 yl ab by 2 plus yl bc by 2 plus yl ca by 2 similarly minus and minus minus into minus is plus j root 3 by 2 yl ab plus j root 3 by 2 yl bc plus j root 3 by 2 yl ca so ye term hogi now we have this term minus yl ab by 2 minus yl bc by 2 minus yl ca by 2 okay minus into minus is i'm sorry this is here minus 1 by 2 plus j root 3 by 2 okay it's not 1 by 2 minus j root it is uh, minus 1 by 2 plus j root 3 by 2 actually it is a a is 1 at an angle of 120 degrees that's cos 120 degrees plus j sine 120 degrees cos 120 degrees is minus 1 by 2 and sine 120 degrees is root 3 by 2 so it is minus 1 by 2 plus j root 3 by 2 so minus into minus plus so the all these three terms will become plus and minus plus is minus j root 3 by 2 yl ab then this into this minus j root 3 by 2 yl bc minus j root 3 by 2 yl ca now j root 3 by 2 yl ab uh, plus and j root 3 by 2 yl ab minus a cancel ho jayega plus minus zero ho jayega ybc ybc terms yca yca terms because one is positive and there is negative they will add up to zero then you have while so therefore this is equal to v by root 3 times 2 into yl ab plus yl bc plus yl ca plus now you have yl ab by 2 plus yl ab ab by 2 so what is yl ab by 2 plus yl ab by 2 that is yl ab itself plus similarly yl bc by 2 plus yl bc by 2 is equal to yl bc because 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is 1 plus YLCA by 2 plus YLCA by 2 is YLCA and <clears throat> that's it so therefore finally we get the positive sequence of current load current I1L is equal to root 3 V sorry V by root 3 it is V by root 3 if you rationalize it so multiply by root 3 divide by root 3 so this is 2 times YLAB plus YLBC plus YLCA plus 1 times YLAB plus YLBC plus YLCA. 2 plus 1 is 3. So it is 3 times YLAB plus YLBC plus YLCA. Now that is equal to root 3 into root 3 is 3. So this is root 3 V by 3 into 3 times 
YLAB plus YLBC plus YLCA. So three and three goes. So therefore, finally, my last final expression for positive sequence component of current I1L is equal to root three V times YLAB plus YLBC plus YLCA. So this is the positive sequence component of current. Let us call this equation as equation one. Similarly, you can find negative sequence component of current. I will write similarly. What is negative sequence component of current from that matrix which we have already written? We have already written this equation. So one by that is one by root three times zero sequence component of current plus a square times uh, this is sorry uh, IAL plus a square times IBL plus a times ICL. So that is equal to 1 by root 3 times what is IAL? IAL abhi humne thodi der pehle likha that is YLAB into 1 minus a square minus YLCA into a minus 1. Okay. Plus a square a square times IBL. This is IAL plus A square times IBL. What is IBL? IBL is uh, YLBC times A square minus A minus YLAB 1 minus A square plus A. A is keep it as A itself. So YLCA into A minus 1 minus YLBC into A square minus A whole multiplied by V. Okay. So you can use the same approach which you have used for computing positive sequence component of current. You expand all these terms and then you write A square equal to minus 1 by 2 minus J root 3 by 2 and A equal to minus 1 by 2 plus J root 3 by 2. Or if you add, subtract the same way which I have just a few moments back done for positive sequence component of currents. I hope you can do that. And finally, when you do that and you rearrange the terms, you will get this expression for negative sequence component of current. Follow the same steps which I have followed for positive sequence component of current. So you will get I2L equal to minus times A square YLAB plus YLBC plus A YLCA into root 3V. That is your equation 2. So therefore you have now two equations. One is for positive sequence component of current and another is for negative sequence component of current. Positive sequence component, what you did? You had a delta connected load. You had, you expressed line currents in terms of phase currents. And then finally, when you wrote line currents in terms of phase currents, you got line currents in terms of admittances, phase admittances or load admittances. And then you try to represent those in terms of symmetrical components, positive sequence component of current, negative sequence component of current and zero sequence component of current. We know the relation between them. We know I0, I0 L, I1 L and I2L, that is negative sequence component of load current, positive sequence component of load current and negative sequence, zero sequence component of load current, positive sequence component of load current and negative sequence component of load current is given by this matrix 1, 1, 1, 1 A A square, 1 A square A. In terms of line currents, IAL, IBL and ICL. So therefore you found these sequence component of currents in terms of line load currents. And since load currents you have already computed in terms of load impedances or load admittances, you substituted the values and you got two expressions because zero sequence component of current for delta connected load is zero. So you have positive sequence component of current and you have negative sequence component of current. So for positive sequence component of current, you got this equation in terms of load impedances or load admittances. Root 3V I1L is equal to root 3V times YLAB. That is admittance of load arm AB plus admittance YLBC plus admittance YLCA. This was equation one. And negative sequence component of current you got as root 3V times 
a square of course minus root 3 b times a square yl a b that's admittance of a b plus admittance of b c plus a times admittance of c a this is equation 2 so therefore your delta connected load which is an unbalanced load it draws positive sequence component of current and it draws a negative sequence component of current and it is this negative sequence component of current which is indicative of unbalance in the load if there was no unbalance in the load then only positive sequence component of current would have been there and that would have been equal to the actual current line currents but because the load is unbalanced in addition to positive sequence component of current which is flowing in the lines in the lines you will find negative sequence component of currents is also flowing so therefore these negative sequence component of currents are supplied by the source and in order to compensate your load you will connect now in each across each load branch you will connect a compensator comprising of passives that's inductances and capacitances so that this positive sequence of current positive sequence component of current no doubt comes from the source but negative sequence component of current does not come from source it is locally supplied by compensator so that will make your line currents balanced okay so therefore let us go for load balancing load balancing using passives passives means energy storage elements like inductances and capacitances not actives we are using passives here passive solution so what we will do we have this circuit diagram of load unbalanced load this is a this is b this is c and this is these are the three line currents this is line current iil this is line current IBL and this is line current ICL. Now what is admittance of this load branch? It is YLAB. Admittance of this load is YLBC and admittance of this load is YLCA. What we will do? We will connect passive elements across each load branch. I will connect an admit a compensator whose admittance is Y gamma AB across this load branch i will connect a compensator whose admittance is y gamma ca and across this load branch i will connect a compensator whose admittance is y gamma bc so therefore all the three load branches we are compensating with with the help of these compensators now the question is these compensators y gamma ab y gamma bc and y gamma ca they will also uh, draw positive sequence current negative sequence current and um, zero sequence currents now as far as zero sequence component of current i know gamma is concerned that will be zero in this case also because they are also delta connected you can see the three compensators are connected in the delta so they will not draw any negative any zero sequence component of current but they will draw positive sequence component of currents and negative sequence component of currents and positive sequence component of currents drawn by them will be exactly equal to the positive sequence component of current drawn by the load and negative sequence component of current will also be same as negative sequence component of current in the load so therefore we can write the positive sequence component of current generated by the compensator is equal to the positive sequence component of load current that is it is equal to root 3 v times instead of writing y l a b now we will write y gamma a b plus y gamma b c plus y gamma c a okay this is my equation 3 and similarly what is negative sequence component of current drawn by the compensator that is same as the negative sequence component of current drawn by the load but instead of writing the admittances as load admittances we have to write compensator admittances so it is equal to minus root 3v times a square and here it is ylab i will write y gamma ab plus ylbc will be replaced by y gamma bc plus a ylcb will be replaced by y gamma ca this is my equation 4 and this is how i do the compensation now 
my aim is to find these compensator admittances y gamma ab y gamma bc y gamma ca because i don't know i know the load admi admittances but i don't know what will be the value what should be the value of these compensator admittances so that when i put them across each load they draw the, the line currents become balanced okay there is no negative sequence of, of component of current coming from the source they are locally supplied here but before we do that you should remember that this this uh, compensator admittance y gamma ab is equal to admittance is equal to conductance g gamma ab plus susceptance j b gamma ab and let me tell you that these compensators in the last lecture also when we connected the compensator what compensators we connected we connected either inductance or capacitance and if you find admittance of inductance and admittance of capacitance they have got only susceptance part imaginary part they don't have any real part only resistance has got real part resistance has got real part gl but inductance and capacitances they don't have real part they have admittance only b b so therefore what is y gamma ab it does not have any conductance part because there is no resistance uh, they have only susceptance part j b gamma ab right similarly y gamma bc is equal to g gamma bc plus j b gamma bc g gamma bc is equal to zero so it is purely reactive in nature it will have only susceptance part j b gamma bc and y gamma ca is equal to g gamma ca that's conductance plus susceptance b gamma ca they don't have any conductance they have only susceptance j b gamma ca so therefore these admit uh, admittances of the compensators we have to replace them by susceptances y gamma ab is j b gamma ab y gamma bc is j b gamma bc and y gamma ca is j b gamma ca j means they have only imaginary part susceptance part because they are reactive elements they are either capacitances or inductances okay so therefore equations 3 and 4 will become so therefore positive sequence component of current will become i1 gamma is equal to root 3 b times this is y gamma ab i will write uh, jb here i will take j outside i will write here like this i1 gamma is equal to let me write j times b gamma ab plus b gamma bc plus b gamma ca into root 3 b this is equation 5 and i2 gamma that is negative sequence component of current drawn by the compensator is equal to minus j <coughs> a square y gamma ab i will write as b gamma ab ye j kaha gaya hai iska wo maine bahar nikala plus y gamma bc is b gamma bc plus a times y gamma ca i have to replace by b gamma ca multiplied by root 3 into b this is equation 6 so these are our final equations so therefore <clears throat> our final equations let me write them again yahan pe likhta hu main i1 gamma is equal to the car, uh, positive sequence component of current flowing because of um, compensators it is equal to j times b gamma ab plus b gamma bc plus b gamma ca into root 3b equation 5 i will rewrite it and i Two gamma, that is negative sequence component of current drawn by the compensator, is minus j times a square b gamma ab plus b gamma bc plus a times b gamma ca into root three b. Equation six. Now <clears throat> these are positive sequence and negative sequence component of currents in terms of not in terms of load admittances, but in terms of compensator admittances or compensator susceptances our aim is to find these susceptance values b gamma ab b gamma bc and b gamma ca if you are able to find these b gamma ab b gamma bc b gamma ca in terms of you know some of them may be inductances in terms of millihenries or some of them may be capacitances in terms of microfarads we will connect that particular capacitor of that particular rating microfarad rating across the load or if it is an inductance inductance of certain millihenry rating 
or value across um, the unbalanced load or it may be a mixture some of them may be inductances some may be capacitances connect them i uh, if i know these susceptances i can find inductance value in millihenry and capacitance value in microfarad connect them across the load and that will make my load perfectly balanced so that will cause load balancing but how to find that for that purpose first of all you must know the objectives of compensator what are the two objectives for which you are connecting the compensator first objective is that the negative sequence component of load current must be supplied from the compensator negative current I'll write here the this is the first objective of connecting compensator the negative sequence component of load current that is I to L must be supplied. It should not come from source because negative sequence component shows load is unbalanced. And this unbalance should not come from source. It should come locally from the compensator. Must be supplied by negative sequence. Negative sequence component of compensator current compensator current and what is negative sequence component of compensator current i2 gamma which means negative sequence component of load current should be equal to minus i2 gamma that means the compensator negative sequence component of current generated by compensator should be equal to minus times load negative sequence component of current. That means whatever is the negative sequence component of current drawn by the load by all the three phases that should be locally supplied by the compensator. So compensator negative sequence component of current should be same as load load negative sequence component of current required by the load. So I2L should be equal to minus I2 gamma. Now this load component it will have real part as well as reactive part imaginary part. So real part of I2L plus imaginary part of J times imaginary part of I, <coughs> I2L should be equal to minus times real part of I2 gamma minus J times imaginary part of I2 gamma. So that means this compensator should supply both real component of <coughs> negative sequence component of current as well as reactive component of negative sequence component of current. This is the first objective. What is the second objective? That means if your compensator current is equal to, if your load negative sequence component of load current is equal to minus of negative sequence component of compensator current, that means compensator is locally supplying all the negative sequence component of load current. It is not coming from the source and it makes the source current or line currents perfectly balanced. This is first objective. So you have to design, you have to calculate the values of these susceptances B gamma AB, B gamma BC, B gamma CA with this as the first objective. Second objective is that you have to, uh, you, uh, that uh, reactive power compensation must also be done by your uh, compensator. That means if there is a reactive power demand by, by the load, that should not come from source, that should be locally supplied by the compensator. So that will do the reactive power compensation or that will improve the power factor of the system. So second objective is that the positive sequence, the positive sequence component of load current should be desired. should have desire should have desired power factor from source which means how do you define the power factor you define power factor as imaginary part of positive sequence component of load current plus com positive sequence component of compensator current by a real part of 
positive sequence component of load current plus positive sequence component of compensated current. That is equal to tan phi and that is equal to let us say beta. I want a power factor angle beta. It may be unity or it may be very close to unity. And what is that power factor angle given by? That is given by imaginary part by real part. Imaginary part, see now you have two currents there. Load has, this is the positive sequence of load current plus there is positive sequence of compensator current also divided by uh, real part. So this divided by this should be equal to desired power factor that is tan phi that is equal to beta. Okay. So that means, imaginary part of I1L plus I1 gamma that is equal to beta times this real part of I1L plus I1 gamma. Okay. I will write there since no real component of current uh, should come from the source. Since real component of current coming from the positive sequence component of current real component of positive sequence of current component of current coming from the compensator compensator should supply only the you know negative sequence component of current real component as far as real component is, is concerned so re real component of positive sequence component of current of the compensator should be zero so substitute here therefore imaginary part of i1l should be equal to beta times or minus beta if i take this minus beta real part of i1l should be equal to minus imaginary part of i1 gamma so this minus this should be equal to this okay so if this is fulfilled it will give you power factor correction also so therefore these are our now two uh, objectives with these two objectives we can now design the compensator and find the susceptances and hence the parameters of the compensator now i will again write equation 2 from equation 6 what is negative now first objective is that this negative sequence component of load current should come from the compensator that's i2 gamma should be equal to minus i2l and what is this i2 gamma it's written from equation 6 is minus j times a square b gamma a b plus b gamma b c plus a b gamma c a into root 3 b we already know so that is equal to minus j times what is a square a square is minus 1 by 2 minus j root 3 by 2 operator a square is equal to this into b gamma a b minus b gamma b c plus what is operator a equal to that is minus 1 by 2 plus j root 3 by 2 into b gamma b gamma c a and whole multiplied by root 3 into b now what you will do you have to solve this there are many many steps to solve this first you find the real component imaginary component then real components ko alag likhte hai, imaginary components ko alag likhte hai. So there are many steps, mathematical steps, which I am going to skip here because if I uh, uh, try to solve it, it, it has a simple solution, but a lot of mathematics is involved. I will skip all those steps and finally I will give you the value from after solving this equation and using various steps which I am going to skip, I will give you the final value of susceptance B gamma. From here we, you can find B gamma BC. And this B gamma BC, that is susceptance of BC branch, that is given by minus 1 by 3 root 3 V into imaginary component of positive sequence component of load current minus 2 times imaginary component of negative sequence component of load current minus beta into a real component of positive sequence component of load current. Yahan se aapko beta gamma BC in terms of sequence component or symmetrical components of load current. If you know what is the positive sequence, how much is the positive sequence component of load current, how much is the negative sequence component of load current, substitute here you will get B gamma BC, susceptance in terms, susceptance ka value hota hai Simons. 
I mean unit sign on so that moles. Once you know susceptance kitni hai, so it can be either inductance or capacitance. So you can find capacitive reactance or inductive reactance. Usse aapko capacitance ka value milega ya inductance ka value milega. Put that across BC branch. Okay. Those of you who are, I have skipped many steps here, but those of you who really want all this, they don't want to skip the steps. They want complete derivation of this. I can share my lecture notes with you. So you can uh, just message me. I can share my lecture notes. Similarly, once you have found B gamma BC, then again, uh, you can solve, you can put this B gamma BC into uh, original equation and you will get other values of B gamma. Like you will get B gamma CA. You will get B gamma CA. And finally, you will get B gamma AB. Let me now give you all the three values after complete you know, math mathematical derivation. Let me give you the three values of these susceptances. Compensator susceptances. So compensator susceptance of branch AB, B gamma AB is equal to minus 1 by 3 root 3 V. V is in the denominator, not in the numerator. Into imaginary component of positive sequence component of load current plus imaginary part of negative sequence component of load current minus root 3 into real part of negative sequence component of load current minus beta into real part of positive sequence component of load current. Let us, let us call this equation as equation 7. We call this equation as equation 7. Okay, <clears throat> now what is B gamma BC? What is susceptance of BC branch? It is minus 1 by 3 root 3 into V, 3 root 3 V multiplied by imaginary part of positive sequence component of load current minus 2 times imaginary part of negative sequence component of load current minus beta, beta is the power factor angle into a real component of positive sequence component of load current. Let us call this equation as equation 8. And finally, B gamma CA, that is susceptance of compensator branch CA, is equal to minus 1 by 3 root 3 V <coughs> times imaginary part of positive sequence component of load current plus imaginary part of negative sequence component of load current plus root 3 time, root 3 into a real part of negative sequence component of load current minus beta into real part of positive sequence component of load current. So all the three equations are given in terms of real and imaginary components of positive and negative sequence components of load currents. Now if you know what is positive sequence component of load current, if you know what is negative sequence component of load current, symmetrical component theory use karni hai. Your load current is not actually given. If you put an ammeter, it will give you actual load current. It will not give you load current in terms of symmetrical components, positive sequence and negative sequence components. So you have to use the mathematical method for um, finding the positive sequence component of load current and negative sequence component of load current. And once you know, uh, you put in these equations, you will get susceptances of all the three branches of compensator. Then you can design your compensator, put it ac across your load and therefore you will get power factor correction as well as load balancing. But it is very difficult to represent, you know, to calculate these susceptances in terms of sequence components because we don't have the data of sequence components. Sequence components are not with us. It is better that you represent these equations 7, 8 and 9 in terms of actual load currents, IAL, IBL and ICL. We can do that. Now, for that purpose, we know that zero sequence component of load current is given by 1 by root 3 times IAL plus IBL plus ICL. Positive sequence component of load current is given by 1 by root 3 times IAL plus AIBL, where A is the operator, plus A square ICL, which is also an operator. And negative sequence component of load current is 1 by root 3 times IAL plus A square IBL plus A ICL. 
at the beginning of beginning of lecture itself we have written this matrix matrix and uh, written the sequence component of currents in terms of load currents so therefore it is now very easy to for you to find these susceptances in terms of actual load currents because in these equations you have positive and negative sequence component of currents but positive and negative sequence component of currents uh, as per these equations you can represent them or you can write them in terms of load component of currents and hence you get all the three susceptances susceptances in terms of load component of currents as an example we can take one susceptance let us say b uh, b gamma b c we take and try to represent that in terms of sequence component in terms of load currents so what is b gamma b c that is susceptance of b c branch we already know it is minus 1 by 3 root 3 b into imaginary part of positive sequence component of current minus 2 times imaginary part of negative sequence component of current minus beta into real part of positive sequence component of current. Now we have the data for positive and negative sequence component of current. This is positive sequence of component of current. We can substitute here and here. And this is the negative sequence component of current in terms of actual line currents. We can substitute it here. So that will give us therefore B gamma BC is equal to minus 1 by 3 root 3 V into imaginary part of I have I, I have I L. I1 L that is positive sequence component of current that is given by this equation that is IAL plus IBL plus plus sorry plus A times IBL plus A square ICL by root 3 by root 3 A equation okay minus 2 times imaginary part of negative sequence component of current and negative sequence component of current is given by IAL plus A square IBL in terms of load currents plus A ICL by root 3 okay so here we have minus beta into a real part of positive sequence component of current I1L and that positive sequence component of current in terms of load current load currents IAL, IBL, ICL is this it is again IAL plus A, IBL plus A square ICL by root 3 break it closed so what I have done these positive and negative sequence component of currents I have written them in terms of actual load currents now it is the matter of you know simplifying this equation and giving it a final shape so therefore if you simplify this it will come out to be minus 1 by root 3 into root 3 is 3 because root 3 is in the denominator of all the 3 and 3 3 are 9 so it is minus 1 by 9 v is also there times let me write imaginary quantities first if i take imaginary i will get minus ial plus 2 plus 3a into ibl plus 2 plus 3a square into ICL. Ye to ho gaya imaginary part. Minus beta into real part. Real part will be IAL plus A IBL plus A square ICL. That's it. What you can do here? You can write imaginary parts and you can have a real part. आप फिर इमेजिनरी पार्ट अलग कर लीजिए और रियल पार्ट अलग कर लीजिए इमेजिनरी पार्ट जब आप सारे अलग करेंगे यू मे हैव अ कपल ऑफ स्टेप्स इन बिटवीन व्हिच आई हैव स्किप्ड बट इट इज वेरी इजी यू हैव दिस इज द इमेजिनरी पार्ट दिस इज द इमेजिनरी पार्ट एंड दिस इज द रियल पार्ट तो एक्सपैंड दीस उसको एंड आफ्टर दैट यू सेपरेट द इमेजिनरी पार्ट फ्रॉम रियल पार्ट दिस इज द इमेजिनरी पार्ट एंड दिस इज द रियल पार्ट ओके सो फर्दर सिंपलीफिकेशन विल गिव So therefore, uh, susp compensator susceptance B gamma B C is equal to. If you go for further simplification, it is equal to minus one by nine B into 
imaginary part of minus IAL phase uh, line current IAL plus 2 IBL after solving this plus 2 ICL line current ICL plus 3A IBL because here we have 3A IBL or 3A square ICL plus 3A square ICL okay so it will be minus IAL plus 2 IBL plus 2 ICL plus 3A IBL plus 3A square ICL so I am expanding and I am writing in this form so here is the imaginary part minus beta into a real part real part is same here is same same IAL plus a ibl plus a square icl okay so this is <coughs> this can further be <coughs> this can further be simplified as this is equal to minus 1 by 9v into imaginary part of you can write minus ial Okay, minus IBL minus ICL plus 3 IBL plus 3 ICL. I'll explain it just a moment. Plus 3A IBL plus 3A square ICL. Minus beta into real part of IAL plus IBL A IBL plus A square ICL. So now what I have done, IAL I have written it's already there. Instead of writing plus two IBL, I have written minus IBL. Instead of writing two ICL, I have written minus ICL. Acha, fir bracket ke bahar mein plus three IBL plus three ICL. When you expand this, what will be minus IBL plus three IBL? That will be two IBL. Similarly, minus ICL plus 3 ICL will be 2 ICL. I am deliberately doing it for just for simplification. So, then you can write as we know IAL plus IBL plus ICL the sum of phasor sum of 3 line currents is equal to 0. So, this will give us IAL plus IBL equal to minus ICL. So, we can substitute in this so therefore b comma bc will be equal to minus one by if you substitute this il plus ibl yeah yeah il plus ibl equal to minus icl or uh, simplify karenge uh, substitute and simplify substitution and simplification will give um, susceptance of branch bc b uh, compensator susceptance bc b gamma bc is equal to minus one by three b into imaginary part of load current IAL plus imaginary part of A IBL after simplification minus imaginary part of A square ICL minus beta by 3 into real part of IAL plus A IBL this will remain same plus A square ICL ये three क्योंकि ये three मैं अंदर ले जा रहा हूँ three okay so this is the final equation for B uh, susceptance of compensator of which branch B C branch in a similar way you can find um, let me check it minus one uh, yes <clears throat> in a similar way you can find the susceptance of other two branches of compensator okay so therefore um, susceptance of other branches can also be written so therefore I can now write susceptance of compensator for all the three branches as then I will write thus in terms of load voltage thus in terms of not load voltage source voltage or I can write voltage and load currents the 
compensator susceptances the compensator susceptances are expressed as susceptance of branch ab compensator susceptance b gamma ab that is equal to minus 1 by 3v into imaginary part of load current iil imaginary part of line current iil or load current iil plus imaginary part of a times current ibl minus imaginary part of a squared times load current icl okay similarly susceptors uh, compensator susceptance b gamma pc is equal to minus 1 by 3 we will get similar equations ek aapko mil gayi baaki similar hogi minus imaginary part of minus iil plus imaginary part of a i b l a i b l ye same hi rahega plus imaginary part of a square i c l what is the difference between this and this values same rahenge yahan minus aayega aur yahan andar minus aayega ye same rahega aur yahan minus ke badle plus aayega so it is easy to remember and compensator susceptance b gamma c a similarly it will be equal to minus 1 by 3 v times ye minus plus ban jayega imaginary part of i a l ye bhi andar plus banega ye minus tha ye plus banega minus imaginary part of a i b l plus imaginary part of ye same rahega a square i c l that's all so therefore you can find susceptances in terms of voltage this is the supply voltage and load currents or line currents il ibl icl there is no sequence component of current there is no positive sequence component of current there is no negative sequence component of current because if you have equations jo previously humne derive ki those were in terms of positive and negative sequence component of current since we don't have any data about how much is the positive sequence component of current how much is the negative sequence component of current it was difficult to design the compensator susceptances to find the compensator susceptances then using the matrix using the relationship between load currents and symmetrical components we used the equations and converted the um, uh, symmetrical component of currents into equivalent load currents and finally we got the equations for compensator susceptances b gamma ab b gamma bc b gamma ca in terms of load currents iil ibl icl like this okay so for unity source power factor agar aapko source power factor unity chahiye what should be cos phi or cos phi should be zero which means tan phi is also zero which means beta is equal to zero aap is in equations mein beta zero kar lijiye you will get you will get unity power factor therefore ye equations modify hogi b gamma ab is equal to why is the beta okay 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 there is one mistake here <coughs> there is one mistake here maine puri equation nahi likhi hai i will write uh, this compensator susceptances again minus 1 by 3 v times imaginary part of iil plus imaginary part of aibl minus imaginary part of a square icl minus beta by 3 i'm sorry ye mujhse chhoot gaya tha beta wala part so please add wo equations aap cancel kar lo unke badle ye likho minus beta by 3 real component of iil plus aibl plus a square icl sorry for the mistake this is b b gamma ab b gamma bc will be equal to minus 1 by 3v into minus imaginary part of <coughs> iil plus imaginary part of a ibl 
प्लस इमेजनरी पार्ट ऑफ ए स्क्वायर आई सी एल उसमें फिर रियल पार्ट भी आएगा माइनस बीटा बाई थ्री इंटू रियल कंपोनेंट ऑफ सेम आई एल ये सेम रहेगा प्लस ए आई बी एल प्लस ए स्क्वायर आई सी एल और फाइनली जो हमारी तीसरी ब्रांच सस्पेंस है कंपनसेटर की बी गामा सी ए दैट इज ऑल्सो इक्वल टू माइनस वन बाई थ्री बी माइनस इमेज दैट विल बी प्लस इमेजिनरी पार्ट ऑफ आई ए एल माइनस ये प्लस माइनस हो जाएगा इमेजनरी पार्ट ऑफ ए आई बी एल ये तो प्लस ही रहेगा प्लस इमेजनरी पार्ट ऑफ ए स्क्वायर आई सी एल माइनस बीटा बाई थ्री इंटू रियल पार्ट ए यही रहेगा आई ए एल प्लस ए आई बी एल प्लस ए स्क्वायर आई सी एल नाउ आई कैन राइट सो दीज आर एक्चुअल इक्वेशन इसमें इमेजनरी कंपोनेंट भी है और रियल कंपोनेंट भी है रियल कंपोनेंट के साथ बीटा टर्म है बीटा टर्म मीन्स पावर फैक्टर इफ यू वॉन्ट अ डिजायर्ड पावर फैक्टर बीटा से यू वॉन्ट अ पावर फैक्टर एंगल ऑफ थर्टी डिग्रीज और ट्वेंटी डिग्रीज यू वॉन्ट अ पावर फैक्टर ऑफ पॉइंट एट और पॉइंट नाइन सो अकॉर्डिंगली यू फर्स्ट पॉइंट बीटा सब स्टूट हेयर सो दैट विल कंप्यूट द रियल पार्ट ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन एंड दिस इज द इमेजनरी पार्ट एंड देन यू कैन फाइंड दंपनसेटर ससप्टेंसिस बी गामा ए बी बी गामा बी सी बी गामा सी ए लेट एस सपोज वी वॉट यूनिटी पावर फैक्टर एट सोर्स For unity source power factor, cos phi means that should be equal to zero, which means tan phi should be equal to zero, and that means what is beta? Beta is tan phi. Beta is equal to zero. Substitute beta equal to zero in above equation. So beta is equal to zero here. Beta equal to zero here. Beta equal to zero. Here. So ye term puri cancel ho jayegi. Ye bhi cancel ho jayegi. Ye bhi cancel ho jayegi. So therefore you will get. these modified equations remove these beta terms in all the three equations for unity power factor so therefore for unity power factor your compensator susceptances will be given by these equations beta since beta is zero for unity power factor so beta terms will go so therefore when you connect these compensators across your delta connected load this is your delta connected load these are the actual load admittances or actual load now you are connecting susceptances compensators you are connecting compensator across each branch of the load this is b gamma is the, the this is the compensator whose susceptance is b gamma ab the susceptance of this compensator is b gamma bc and the susceptance of this compensator is b gamma ca for unity power factor and for complete load balancing so that balanced line currents flow What should be the value of b gamma a p b gamma b c b gamma c a? Then will be given by these three equations: this equation, this equation, and this equation. So it will serve both the purposes. Number one, your load will get balanced. The line currents I A L, I B L, and I C L they will be perfectly balanced. That is, I A L will be exactly equal to I B L will be exactly equal to I C L. So. even if your loads are unbalanced but these compensators susceptances will make your load balanced and your uh, you know system will draw balanced load currents il is equal to IL, ibl equal to icl and second objective will also be fulfilled by this compensator it will make power factor angle zero that means it will make cos zero cos phi equal to 1 cos phi Equal to one. Cos phi equal to one means unity power factor. That means tan phi equal to zero. That means beta it will make equal to zero. Power factor will be one. So that means it will uh, do the reactive power compensation also. That means whatever reactive power demand is there of the load that will not come from source. That will be locally supplied by these susceptances by these compensators. These compensators will. supply the negative sequence component of current also and they will also supply the reactive power by supplying negative sequence component of currents they will make the source currents or line currents balance and by supplying the all the reactive power demand of the load they will do the reactive power compensation make source power factor equal to unity so both jobs will be done by so therefore if you know load currents of this unbalanced three phase delta connected load iil ibl icl 
Use these, you know the source voltage, source is balanced. Substitute these load currents in these equations, you will get susceptances of all the three brands. Co connect these compensators of given susceptances which you have calculated by these equations and your load balancing as well as reactive power compensation will be done. More on it in next lecture, inshallah. So in next lecture, we will uh, learn more about, we'll do more analysis of uh, this uh, load balancing using passive solution. With this, I will end my today's lecture. I advise all of you to go through this lecture. Uh, in case of any doubts, you can contact me. I will be ready to reply your queries. Uh, while deriving these equations, we ha I have skipped many steps because a lot of mathematics was involved. That would have taken a lot of time. But for those who uh, are interested in uh, complete derivations of the equations, I can share my lecture notes with you. So all the best to all of you. Thank you.